Next, I want to show you how to create sidechain compression. Now, sidechain compression is the idea of having one sound compressed, but triggered by another sound. So if it's playing at a different time, the compression will create a rhythmic effect as it's compressing from a different signal. So we have a kick drum track and a synth bass track. We're going to put a compressor on the synth track and have it triggered by the kick. So the rhythm of the kick is going to compress the synth whenever it's played, creating an interesting and unique rhythmic effect. So here's what the kick sounds like. And here's what the synth sounds like before we compress it. And this is what they sound like together. It sounds a bit boring. Let's make this more interesting by triggering a compressor with the kick. So let's go to the synth track and add a compressor. I'm going to choose the Dynamic 3 compressor by Avid. This way I know that you have it, because it's free with Pro Tools. But we could do this with just about any compressor. Then we're going to go to Ascend on the kick track and choose New Track. We'll make a mono send and we'll name it sidechain. We don't really need the new track it creates, so we'll delete it. But once again, that creates a new bus for us named sidechain. It's a shortcut. And we'll send a pre-fader full volume. This way the signal going to the sidechain compressor stays consistent no matter where we put the main fader on the kick drum. And we'll turn up our threshold so there's no compression going on. Over here is our sidechain, and over to the top left here is where we choose what our sidechain will be. For our key input, we'll choose sidechain on the bus, then we'll go over here and turn the sidechain on. Now the button next to it is a speaker icon. If we choose that and mute the kick, we can hear what's triggering this compressor. In this case, the kick drum. So we're going to hear the kick drum through the synth track, through the compressor. So by hearing that, we know it's wired correctly. Our compressor on the synth track is seeing our kick drum to be used as a sidechain. So we can turn the speaker icon off. Let's try adding some compression to the synth. Let's bring the threshold down to add some compression. And we can see in this gain reduction meter how it's being triggered by the kick pattern. It's getting reduced just when the kick is playing. So let's turn the kick track back on and hear them play together. And we could adjust the threshold to decide how dramatic the effect should be. Now with something rhythmic like this, the attack and release controls become very important on the compressor. Depending on the tempo of your song or the rhythm, we want to adjust this to sound musical. That sounds pretty good. Before, let's try the same effect with some keyboard chords. Let's close this. 
we'll mute our synth and let's hear what the chords sound like. So we'll add our compressor to the chord track, go to our key input and switch it to sidechain, which is our kick. Turn on the sidechain and the speaker icon so we can double check that the kick is working and go into the sidechain of the compressor. It's working. Turn off the speaker icon and let's add some compression. Adjust the attack. The release. Bring the synth back in. Bypass the effect. Then we can put it all together and make a production out of it. So that's pretty much it. That's sidechain compression in Pro Tools. And that's it for this title as well. This has been signal routing or signal flow in Pro Tools. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.